Venus is a boy. It's coming to you. Watch it, please. Thank you. And let's get buzz. Let's buzz. buzz. We buzzing. We buzzing. You're awesome. Ooh. Literally buzzing. We're buzzing <laughs> and, and, and hopefully not breaking. Check it out. All right. Most women want men that run shit, not a sensitive man. Said no woman ever. Oh, so when you point at me, were you trying to say I'm a sensitive dude? Are you still celibate? Oh, come on, man. Chill. Bro, what's wrong with you? Bro, bro, man. This new vibe you got going, it's perfect, it's good. This is your new painting. Keep it about the struggle and black rage. I love your painting. You can have it. Really? When you meet me again, remember who I am. She's one of them famous influencers. Well, you don't take selfies? Nah. What are you doing? Put it down. You're a weird dude. And you're weird too. You. Congratulations you. on Venus as a Boy. Thank it you so much. genuinely was such a good film. Thank you. I mean, first of all, we have to start with the title. It's the name of another popular song. Yes. Was that track inspiring to yeah, you when you wrote Bjork. the film? Yes, by Bjork. I love yeah. that song. I think uh, that song did a lot for me when I was growing up, my adolescence. And I was told, you know, by this young lady that Venus as a Boy made her think of me. And I was offended because when you think of Venus as a Boy, you're like, aren't girls from Venus? And so she broke it down to me that I'm just, you know, was a special kid and I should just continue to keep doing me. And so, yeah, um, the song impacted me and then I wanted to write something to kind of talk about masculinity and how, and what that does and how, that, how that's evolving in the world and how we all need a little bit of feminine and masculine to balance us out um, and to be present. So that was my interpretation of the song and putting it into a movie. I love that. Speaking about being present, you started the movie off with a meditation. Was that intentional? Absolutely, yeah. I think kind of set the mood? Yeah, I think, I think the whole movie for me when I was writing it was a meditation. It's very much where I was in life, you know, and dissecting what it is to be a man and what it is to, like, fall in love and what it is to really fall in love with yourself. So that was that was. That's what, that, that was my intention. As somebody who's used to, you know, creating their own content in front of their own cameras, what was it like stepping in front of Ty's camera and trusting his creative direction? Well, it was definitely something that was outside of my wheelhouse. I mean, I'm used to I'm used to a different type of content, so it was really, really cool to work with Ty. Um, of course, like anybody on set, like there were moments where like maybe we didn't, because oh, it was hard when, with him being the producer, writer, um, lead and everything. Like right. there were a lot of, thoughts that we both had, but it was a very collaborative experience and he was always very open-minded and um, I was always eager to listen because he's he's been doing this for a lot longer than I am, so it was awesome. It was actually just such an amazing experience. And he got you to dance. Yeah, he got me to dance. He did. Why not? I'm trying to think of like, there were so many firsts of that, like we had to jump in the pool with our clothes on, it was so cold, we had to, I mean it was just an amazing experience, there were so many... There were so many different nuances that I just loved and, of course, um, appreciate because of it. Yeah. I've died a few times in my mind. Now I've arrived, I see the light. We are supposed to live a full, ultimate life. Yeah, I wipe the blood from my eyes. Yeah. The good. The love in the skies. Yeah. The bad. It's a matter of time. Yeah. All of it. It's a matter of time. We are all here to play a role. I think my character, she has this great confidence. Mm -hmm. I think she has um, very smart. She has compassion. Also, she's looking for love. And sometimes when you're looking for love, you're often blind. Especially, you know, when women, when you're successful, you're doing well, sometimes in the love department, you kind of like lost because you're too strong, mm -hmm. right? So I think there's something for my character to learn to understand, to read people well, use the feminine side to understand. Well, I love the part, I didn't see the movie. When it's open, she was like, you know, in the real life, she's this uh, professional uh, gallery owner, Robert, but the uh, bedroom, oh my God. She's, she's a wild like, what? It's a wild, like, I don't know how they dress me, like wild, like the, all of that. So I'm looking forward to see, I'm so nervous because kind of crazy. My part's crazy. I think that's how the um, movie opened, right? The movie opens with me go crazy. I mean, are you anything like your character? Do you see yourself in your character? Yes, I am, actually. Uh, I have a wild side. I'm like a wild animal, you can see here. Oh, there you go. Right. You actually, privately, when I know somebody well, I'm extremely wild. I'm like, I love sex. 
I love intimacy, I love craziness, I love passion. So all of this are in me, but also I have another sophisticated and gentle, kind, compassion side. I'm all that, that's why I'm an actress. I think in real life you cannot do all, but in film you can play all kinds of uh, roles, different characters, show different personalities. Can you tell me about what, what about the script struck you? Um, what about the script struck me was the fact that it painted black, black men in a, in a different light, you know? It was, you have a, a person that is uh, entrenched in art and culture and he's trying to make his way as an artist and I haven't really seen that story told, especially as a, as a black man. Yeah. It's really cool because it's all coming from Ty's perspective. I mean, yeah. he directed it, he wrote it, he starred in it. Yeah. How cool was it to work with him? Ty's incredible to work with, very inspiring. The fact that he was able to write this script, do the music, the music was incredible. Uh, you know, direct it, star in it, uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. And, and he gave a lot of creative liberties for us to really play on set. It's a story of people, it's a story of a, of a guy exploring his life and not being stuck behind barriers, right? So as he encounters these different people in his life, he's able to explore more of his life and find out who he really is. So to me, that really speaks because as people, we try to evolve. We're trying to evolve every day. So us interacting together, you know, we'd be like, hey, you know, I remember that. That was really cool. So how can I learn from this? How can I get better? So tell me a little bit about your character and how he kind of gets into Ty's character's journey. Oh, my character does not allow Ty's character to get his art out there, per se. I am that barrier. And with that, um, you know, I'm allowed to tap into that jerk side of myself which is a, it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun because you can't get to do it all the time so he he was able to he was able to rebound and still go after his dream and that's what he did it's great he was so insanely calm and collected and just grounded and that was really nice so it never made you feel like there was any pressure on you uh, he loved to talk about what was going on right before we jumped into it and allowed for anybody to kind of play around and do whatever they want to do. And so it was, it, it didn't feel like work. It felt like he just showed up to kind of have a conversation about these interesting topics. And, and that's what we did. And then and he happened to film it. Tell me a little bit about your character. So I play Johnny, uh, which is Henny's boyfriend. And we're on and off. And I kind of am dangling this career in front of her. And I think uh, what it feels like, it's, it's kind of a mirror holding up to Ty's character. and in the sense that it looks like maybe like an imperfect relationship, but I don't think there is such a thing as a perfect relationship, and so you have to find what, what truly connects two people, and I think that's the, the journey that, that Henny and Johnny take in, in this movie. You have to give in. Submit. Are you so true? My name is Daniel Bonjour. Hi, my name's Katrell Gidry. Hi guys, my name is Johnny Rivas. Hello everyone, I'm Bailin. You've just been buzzed.